Greetings everyone, this is D22 with you today from the Games Channel and today we are going to be showing you how to make your own custom thumbnails on Vector. Yes, this is a gaming channel as well, but I wanted to do something different here so that it can allow for other YouTubers to start out making their own custom thumbnails if they don't have the money to buy Photoshop. This is Vector. It is a free software that you can get, and the link is in the description below, but you can also use this software on your web browser. So you don't have to download it, but you can download it if you want to make sure that you have access to it without having to go to the internet and click it from there. So this is your setup right now. There's two tabs here. So this is the Pages tab where all your pages are, and then this is the Layers tab where you can put in your layers. Now, this looks like a very clean setup here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our size, which we've already done, 1280 by 720, or you can go to custom size, and then what we'll do is we are going to select YouTube Uploads. So this is basically the upload banner for the thumbnails. So this is the size for the thumbnails, but what you can also do is you can select YouTube Channel, which sets it to about 2560 by 1440. This is the max resolution for making your own YouTube banner. As you can see, this is the full resolution. And then you can zoom in and zoom out with the same tool using the zoom in button like this or zoom out. So we're gonna zoom out here and then there it is. So you can edit it properly. And then if you wanna zoom it in, just press the plus sign, there you go. We now have our full 2560 by 1440 adjusted properly. So. What you can also do is you can also add different shapes, rectangles, rounded rectangles, ellipse, pen tool, there's the pencil tool, there's the text tool, which everybody likes, and then this is the upload image tool, and then for the three plus signs here, you can select more shapes. So you can add more shapes into your picture. So let's say we wanna start on our first YouTube thumbnail. So let's go to where it says YouTube uploads. There we go. There's our YouTube uploads template. Well, not a template, but this is just the starter page for what we need to do. So we're gonna zoom in our project like this. Let's say you wanna create your first thumbnail. So what you do here is you go to where it says upload image. And the images that we're gonna find here are in your pictures folder, obviously. So let's say we wanna do a thumbnail of the pen pineapple apple pen guy. There he is right there, pen pineapple apple pen. There, he looks so sexy, doesn't he? Yeah, anyways. So we put our image in here and you can also resize it however you like within the project. So we're gonna just say we're gonna fill it up here and there is the pen pineapple apple pen guy in the image. So we're just gonna space him properly and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload another image like so. And then we are going to select, let's say this guy. So here I am here in my awesome thumbnail glory and we're gonna just drag myself over here and then we're gonna automatically resize it. There's no free transform here. It just allows you to contour everything accordingly. And then I believe you can also shift the layers around so you can just put layers on top of each other by clicking here and then just dragging it down like that, which is pretty nice. There's nothing too complicated about this. This is your simple drag and drop images and spacing them out. And then what you can also do is you can add the text, which is really cool. So let's go and add our text here. So it just says text. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just highlight the text. Okay, there we go. It took a while to load, but it did it. So we're going to highlight our text tool and then we're gonna just size it however we like. So how, how did we do that? What you do is you click on the points here to minimize and maximize. You can also rotate the text like this, and then you can also maximize and minimize it. So you can flip the text like that if you reverse it, and you can change the color. So what you can do here is you can highlight your text and then select the color. So you can select, you can put an image in it, or you can just select it as a blank color and then the color palette's right here. So let's say we're going to automatically select our text color, which is like this. And then you can apply the border. You can make the border thick or thin using the tools here. So then you can select the size of the border. So we're gonna go 
whoa, that's really thick. And then you can position the border inside or the center or on the outside. So let's say you want to do it on the outside here. Then that makes more sense. And then I believe you can also insert a shadow like this if you enable it. So let's just say we're going to enable a shadow and just choose a color for it. There we go. And then there it is. And then we can go insert shadow. It doesn't normally appear right away, but actually there it is. There it is. You can see the shadows within the text. You can adjust the pixels accordingly. So let's adjust the pixels of the shadow. And then it'll automatically adjust. As you can see, the text looks a lot different after the settings we've done. And then you can also set the opacity of the text. So we're going to just scroll it down like this. As you can see, whoa, it looks really funky right now. You can set the opacity all the way from 0 to 100% right there. And then you can select the type of font you want, which I think has, I think you can also get all your fonts imported from your font files. But this has a really pretty interesting selection of the fonts right here. So let's just so and let's just select one font that we probably know and love. Let's just go with Road Rage. If we can find Road Rage here, that'll be great. So. Let's go Road Rage. Come on, Road Rage, where are you? Because I installed Road Rage, it should be one of the list of fonts. Never mind. We're going to select Righteous. So there's your font. And you can select however you want the fonts. You can choose the colors, choose the size, choose the style of it, and it looks pretty righteous here. So if you like what you've done so far here, and it looks pretty darn awesome, what you can also do when you're done is go to export and then it'll show a preview of your work that you've done and then it will allow you to save it in an image format that is most pleasing to you so we're just going to stick to good old jpeg and then you can set the jpeg quality obviously let's set it up to 100 percent obviously the higher the quality the higher the file size you can also set a url for it but what you can also do is you can also download the picture and save it onto your computer. So this uses cloud-based technology. You can also just save it onto your computer and download a picture of yourself. So you can just automatically use it and it's ready. So we're just going to save it right now. Let's just say vector thumbnail. I can't spell thumbnail. My dyslexia is kicking in. Anyways, we're going to go save and then it'll save the thumbnail. So you can do numerous things with it. That is just an example of what you can do to build a basic thumbnail. So, thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial. If you have any other questions about this, leave it in the comments below. And if I missed anything in this tutorial, I will make another video about it, guaranteed.